Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Dalton here, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new note-taking app that launched on November 24th, and I'm going to be asking two questions. Number one, will this replace Rome Research? And number two, is this the ultimate note-taking task manager, calendar, everything all in one app that so many people have been asking about? So without any further ado, let's jump into NotePlan and see what we have to work with. All right, so here we are in NotePlan, and you can see it kind of has a, um, like notion slash room research vibe with kind of the sidebar on here but then also the calendar um so it's very much i would say a competitor to the two uh, what this offers is everything all in one so you have tasks you have your calendar um all of this stuff it's just it's honestly it's like things three with notion and rome uh, all in one so that sounds really cool however um there's just some quirks to it. And I just think people are comfortable with Rome Research right now in Notion. Um, so, but let's let's get into this app. I'll show you kind of what's on here. So if you look at the sidebar here, we have search uh, the daily notes, which is exactly like uh, Rome Research. You have Tuesday, December 1st. So if you go to the week, this is really cool. This is kind of like things three, um, where you're able to see kind of like your entire week in the center here. So you can add different tasks, you can add bullet points, stuff like that. And then over here on the right side, you have your calendar. Uh, so I can see everything I am have scheduled on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, and so on, which I think is really cool. Just being all that stuff centralized um, instead of having it all in different apps, I think is really cool. Uh, the review is really neat. Um, you're able to review kind of all the tasks that you have inside of your database. I haven't really played around with this much. Uh, I just kind of like, I haven't used it, I should say. I've played around with it. Um, and so I just have this one scheduled task I can check that off right there. Um, and then I can do note tasks. So these are all the tasks that are inside of notes, um, like buried inside of notes. We have the overdue tasks, the stuff that I haven't done yet. And then we have the upcoming tasks are filtered in there. So I think this review is really cool because it's a really nice way just to kind of get a glimpse at stuff you have to be working on this week, which is really cool. The notes here, uh, this is kind of the, the base of the notes. So we have the demo project and this is very similar to notion where you have the demo project is the page. And then inside of that, you have this um, other folder, and then you have the welcome to note plan kind of uh, like welcome guide. So it kind of gives you the rundown of um, how to use this, um, tagging and mention, stuff like that. So if you wanted to do, like kind of create <clears throat> a new um, project or whatever, you just go down here, do new note plus folder. And then, again, this is similar to things three. So you could do new folder, uh, and, this is, and it's gonna put inside of this folder already since it's already in there. Uh, but you could do like a demo, demo video two, and then we can go in here and then add a new note. Uh, just type heading one and then type away. So automatically it uh, it adds the areas or the, the folders on top, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, but you could do a kind of par of IP or you can rearrange these, but so you have areas and projects, again, just different folders. And then you have the smart folder. So these are recent um, notes that you've created. You can see my little dash guy there, archive, stuff that you've kind of archived, and then the trash. And then down here are all the mentions that you have and hashtags, um, which is very similar to Rome Research. Um, you, you can't do mentions in Rome, but you could do uh, kind of like tags or backlinks, obviously. Um, and you can do backlinks in this. I just want to say that right now. So it's very similar. You like that and new note and that just created a new note so and then the references are up top right here so similar to Rome research um, everything kind of centers around this daily notes page so you can add notes just by typing away new note here you can add tasks so by doing the backslash just uh, similar to everything else do a task new task here you could do uh, bullet points, you got headings, quotes, note links, uh, which is just the two kind of the, the brackets there, and then you can add an image. The other thing you could do is you can add calendar date, which I think is really cool. So say uh, tomorrow's the fifth. So say I want to um, edit this video tomorrow on December 5th. What you can do is uh, do this little that guy and then do December 5th. So if you do that, then this um, date kind of gets added to Tuesday, December 5th, uh, which I think is really cool. The backlinks, again, just like Rome Research, we click into this, uh, we're able to see the backlinks here, which is really neat. 
One of the benefits of NotePlan is that it uses uh, Markdown and plain text files and stores locally on your Mac device. Um, thing I like about this though is that you don't have to give like a default position like you do in Obsidian. It just picks a position um, probably somewhere on your applications folder or whatever and stores all of your notes. And these are in Markdown or plain text. Um, so you can export them. So extremely future proof, which is good. I know that was a lot of people's problems um, and just complaints about room research is that if they shut down, like all your notes are gone, um, which I still haven't really felt. I haven't figured that out yet, but it does also does have cloud sync. So you can um, sync it up to cloud and you're able to sign in on different devices. I must say this is only available on Mac OS and iPhone. So there is an iPhone app. I have yet to play with the iPhone app. I have it downloaded, but I haven't opened it up. So maybe that will be a different um, different video. I haven't even seen videos actually on this NotePlan app. So I'm curious to see um, how it is. The calendar, which I think is uh, one of the, just the, the big things with Rome Research, and you can make this a little bit bigger. But the calendar, I think, is the biggest thing about NotePlan. So you have this calendar on here, and this can sync with iCloud, or and this can sync with Gmail, or this can sync with Outlook. Uh, that's kind of what I have. And it also syncs with your reminders on your phone. So Call My Bank was a reminder I told myself to do last night, and it's there, which is I think is really cool. So you can just click uh, New Event or Reminder. And this has kind of the, um, the smart function. So I could say meet John at 11 a.m. and it's going to go to 11 a.m. And then I can choose which calendar, my Exchange, my iCloud, or my Mabry Dalton one. So yeah, that I think is really cool, um, being able to add the different uh, reminders. So here I have my thoughts list. So I have a book and I have a thought list um, on my reminders. So I can add those different reminders um, to wherever kind of I see fit, which I think is really cool. And finally, uh, we have the global search, so which is just Command J, and then you can search any side, any uh, any note you have in here, and you you can actually create a new note. So if you do, oops, that's my Alfred. Do Command J again, and then uh, let's say uh, I don't know iPhone. Do create new note, and then it'll be down in here. So yeah, this is uh, this is kind of the rundown of Note Plan, what you can do with it. Um, I think the folders I think is really cool. It's, it's, it's interesting because it, it has everything all in one, which I think is really neat. And I think people really want that. Um, and it's, it seems pretty quick. Um, I know Notion is kind of slow and Notion doesn't have um, as good as calendar integrations um, as this. Well, it doesn't have any calendar integrations for that matter, um, which I think is really cool. And just again, everything is in one place and there is an iPhone app. It's also a lot less expensive. Um, I think it's like six or seven dollars a month, which I think is really good. So yeah, that is a uh, note plan three. So that was note plan three. And do I think it's going to replace Rome research? No, absolutely not. Because Rome has such a cult following similar to Apple. And just like every Android person reminds me when I post an iPhone video on here, iPhones don't have the best tech and are expensive really for what they offer, but people want them for the brand. I think the same thing is happening with Rome and Notion. The people who truly do want this all-in-one app and don't really care what they use might switch, but for the most part, Rome is going to keep trucking along. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this all-in-one tool or what you would like to see NotePlan add to its feature list. Or if you have any questions, follow me on Twitter or you can hit me up on Twitter. If you enjoyed this video, check out my first look video of Tempo, an email managing client, or check out this video down here. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next video.